fighter in the blue corner, Martin Safari. Georgian Fighting Championship 14. We are live from Tbilisi in Georgia. This is a lightweight contest. First fighter making his way down to the cage to the blue corner. Martin Safari. He's a record of two wins and no defeats. Making his debut back in December 2018. Fight by guillotine choke in round number three. Safari has been so fired up for this contest, and he was head to head with his opponent at the way in pushing his forehead in and looking ready to go yesterday. Now welcome his opponent to the red corner, Mikhail Meshke! So his opponent making his way down to the red corner for this lightweight professional contest is absolute local ground favourite, Mikhail Meshke. 31 years of age, with a record of four wins and no defeats. He fights out of here in Tbilisi, Georgia. And you can see how much the crowd loved him yesterday at the weigh-ins, today at the fight. He has been fighting since September 2007 as a professional. He went into the professional ranks with an unbeaten amateur record with two heel-up victories in two fights. He made his professional debut in September 2007 with a TKO win in just 34 seconds. He didn't fight again then for seven years. He came back with a two-minute knee bar win. His busiest year to date, 2018, he had a, a KO sorry, in round number three and a rear naked choke in round number two. He's not fought since November 2018. This man has six wins out of six inside the distance for those as a professional. Absolute fan favourite, looking to impress, but this is two unbeaten fighters here. Safari looks fired up, nose to nose with him at the weigh-in. Can he be the first man to beat Meski? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a GFC lightweight bout, consisting of three, five and a round. Now let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 21 years old. He weighed in at 70.3 kilograms. He stands 178 centimeters tall. He has a record of two wins and no losses. From Iran, Martin Zephari. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 31 years old. He weighed in at 70.3 kilograms. He stands 178 centimeters tall and has a record of four wins with no losses. Representing Georgia, please welcome Mikhail Meshke. As your referee is called Alexander Longa. GFC 14. This is a lightweight contest. We have Martin in the blue corner. We have Mikhail in the red. Both these fighters unbeaten, both raring to go. They've been nose to nose. Oh, oh, what a takedown! Straight wow, in with a double Wow, fired up and ready to go. That was fast. 
I think we knew this was going to start fast, Ian, and I expect it to be fireworks from the start. Well, let's see what he can do from here. He's managed to get him down. He's now in half guard. Starting off for the ground and pound. He's pulled him back, so his shoulders are on the canvas. Yeah, good start here from the man from Iran. Two fights, two wins. Well, you know what the Iranian background is for wrestling. I mean, their wrestling is superior. They're some of the best wrestlers in the world. Well, he looked like he started that shoot from the changing rooms, Ian, straight in. He changed levels before we'd even see what was starting. Super, super fast, but whoa. Mikhail was moving for a leg lock, and he swings I, into it. He's got it. I was He's got it. He's got to turn fast. Manages to get out and jump free. But oh, beautiful wrestling himself from Mikhail. Elbow hand hit from Martin, trying to get back to his feet. Oh, what a super fast pace. Mikhail trying to keep his bum and his hips on the ground, but he's finding it really hard. I was just going to say before that started that he has a win by knee bar on his record and he slipped in from under there, went for the leg lock. Well, you've got to take your hat off to Martin because when people normally get leg lock, they panic, they, they tap before it actually works. They don't want to feel that pain. They, don't want to, they know they're going to be out of action for months if that, if that snaps the ankle. Yeah, well, what a great reversal, Mikhail, now in top position. I think sometimes it can be one of the best ways to sweep is to go for that leg lock, and that's what he did. Oh, good ground and pound as well. This Head. is how you posture. Head we were talking shots. about posture earlier. That's how you do it. Martin trying to attack from the bottom position. Elbows and punches raining down there. Looking sharp, looking to pin the arm now. And this is again that ground and pound half guard position we saw. Really, Mikhail looked like he took a, maybe just a little breather there, secured his position, got down low, and watched for him to come back up high when he clears the arm off the head. Yeah, nothing wrong with securing your position. Secure the pin. Make sure you have your opponent under control before you, you posture up and, and strike. Especially with a man like Martin, who we can see knows how to get his hips to the fence. You can see them edging out now yeah, to the side. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, nice elbow. That was a strong shot. Good shots, these fast ground and pound now oh he needs to be careful he's gave his back up tries to roll wasn't successful again he, I like the way Mikhail takes his time with the patience to secure the position Ian he, he had the neck he was looking to secure the position before he really committed to the choke oh he's going to sit down on mount oh he missed it I thought he was going to sit down on mount well what an explosive round so far the hammer fists from bottom position we were just talking about strikes from bottom and if you are going to strike from the bottom hammer fists are the ones that you should do because you don't need a lot of big elbows yeah you don't need yeah. a lot of space to throw them they fall back he's, for a leg again yeah he's looking for that heel look he's oh! got oh he had the pinch on it but he managed to get the knee clear well Lovely. Martin doing the right thing by trying to explore and pull out but well still on his back Lovely attacking work here. Such a variety of attacks coming already from Mikhail. Hammer fist of his own. Yeah, one, now. For, one for one, but a second there. And again, he goes for the leg. He misses it this time. He's looking for that heel up so much. And now, again, he's... Oh, he's taking punishment. He what does this remind you of? <laughs> yeah, this was like your fight with Frank Mirian. He just couldn't quite get the bite on the heel. And that is where you suffer the ground and pound. We were talking about this the other day, that inside heel hook just leaves you slightly open to ground and pound, Ian, which you know yourself. Yeah, well, inside heel hook, you can actually lean forward on top of your opponent more than you can on a straight, normal heel hook. But the leg is still caught, he can't get it free. He needs to be careful, because you can still twist the knee from here. Yeah, he can put a lot of pressure down onto that leg. He can also use it if he, if he can get the underhook with his left arm he can hip out to the side and nice take the back nice shoulder strike that was legal perfect shoulder strike there well Mikhail has his legs figure forward so that means that Martin can't get his leg out now he does he's passed oh crucifix position he's got 20 seconds to work it yeah looking for that top crucifix now around the back can he get the hooks into secure position I don't think there's enough time in this round now but this is a good he's end to the round strong. yeah he's going to finish very strong we knew this oh, fight was going to be wow. explosive, Ian, but that wow. lived up to all expectations for round number one. What an awesome fight, and I tell you what, Mikhail has just fell. 
to his corner, his back hit the fence and he slid down the gear wall. Listen, there's a lot to be said for the fact he's got six wins all inside the distance, two amateur and four professional. However, he's never gone the distance. Has he been in a fight like this? And is he prepared for a fight the nail like on the head. This? Has he been in a fight like this? Because this is what it is. This is a fight. Normally those halo should make many people tap, but not this man. Martin has just managed to pull through every single submission. He's took some big shots here and he's escaped some tight submissions. He's lost the first round, don't get me wrong. He yeah. has lost the first round because he's been submit or attempted submission three, four times. He's took punishment with ground and pound. He's been on his back the majority of this round. But has he worn out Mikai? That's what we need to find out. And I think from the, the video there we've all seen, I think the corner of Martin was much more relaxed than the corner of Mikhail. Did he expect this? Looking forward to this second round. Certainly, I'm looking forward to this. this. This, we expected this to be fight of the night and first round, I think it already is. This is GFC 14, round number two. We have Martin in the blue corner from Iran. And Mikhail from here in Georgia. Well, will Martin in the shoot? Red. I don't think he'll shoot immediately. He'll probably throw some shots to make him think, are you going to shoot? Are you going to punch? Let me see. He showed his intentions at the start of round number one. Yeah, like you said, Ian, he shot from the changing room, but it worked. Let's see what he's got now. He's backing his man up against the cage. Mikhail looks tired here, he Ian. Doesn't he just, my friend? Doesn't he just? I think there's one thing to Oh, say. right on! Big shots now. That will be a confidence booster there. They're sharp punches. Down the middle, switching stance now is Mikhail. Goes to southpaw. He might want to shoot himself if he switched. Yeah, some wrestlers shoot off that right leg forward, don't they? And, but these oh, are nice punches. There's not much defense coming there. Mikhail looks exhausted here. And this is Martin's uh, his opportunity he's, he's now to pressure for forward. Knockout. He's waiting for that one punch knockout. There we go. Big punches now. He doesn't want to risk anything by going in with a flurry of punches in case he gets taken down. Again, he's fainting, he's looking, but he's not looking for the oh! shot. Head kick. He's looking for a flamboyant finish, I think. Mikhail's done the right thing by coming off the cage. At least now we can shoot a little bit better himself. Tries to go for the clinch. This is what he needs to do. He's got you to so right his teeth. He's tired. Mikhail is tired. And no defence whatsoever. I think if Martin just goes for a flurry of punches, he may stop this fight. Oh, I, nice. I agree. And, and nice right hand. I think he needs to pressure forward. He should be seeing here, you know, like a shark that smells blood. I believe Mikhail's ready to go if Martin steps things up. Martin may be tied himself, though. Let's not forget, he may have been on the bottom and just resting on his back, but he took some punishment as well. Yeah, I think he's definitely got the best poker face out of the two fighters. Mikhail is not hiding the, the tightness. Nice liver kick. And you've got to think here again, looking at Mikhail's record, the fact that his first fight was in 2007, then oh, 2014. That was close. That was close. Quite a lot of breaks between fights. He had four fights in, in, in eight, nine years. Nice, one, two. Yeah, he's good now, he's smelled blood, he's smelling blood. Oh, Mikhail is tired. Mikhail's he ready to go. Oh, spinning oh, elbow. Big it's spinning cut elbow. his eyes so bad, that was sharp, Ian. He pointed that. to the referee. As soon as he saw the blood, he pointed yeah, to the ref. streaming into his eye. He looked disheartened before. Now the blood going into his eye, and this is going to be over soon, surely. We've got ne ne nearly two minutes left. Getting excited here, Ian. Mikhail done really good to keep on his feet after that spinning elbow. Again, fainting, but fainting. But nothing left in him. I think he's looking for another elbow. It's oh, a head kick. Oh, what a head kick. The unbeaten man from Georgia walks forward, but he walks forward bloodied and battered here, Ian. Well, the determination of Mikhail, he's still trying. Kicks the elbow of Martin. That eye is bad. That cut has opened up really bad, I'm sure. Referee Alexander Lunga looking on carefully at that cut. Left hook. Well, wouldn't you think that Martin is going to... There you go, Ian, you're right. The yeah. referee has stopped the bout. He's going to have a look. 
I don't think this will continue. That's a really bad cut, Ian. The thing right is, as well, you have, to look, you have to look at the fighter as well. Oh, my word, that is like... He's, he's been cut with a blade. <laughs> yeah, look, that was a sharp elbow. It was like an axe wound there. There's, I don't, can't see this fight continuing here, Ian. Well, we'll see. Is the referee going to call it off? Is the medic going to call it off? I think the referee's shaking. He can't let this continue. And, and I think he's right. Alexander Lunga, an experienced fighter. No, he's telling, he's telling the corner man to step out because he can't, you cannot apply Vaseline in between rounds of the corner man. We're well, sorry, during the round. Yep. It can only be done in between rounds. It can't be done. He can't, the he can't continue. The referee, I think, is saying he can't continue. Surely, that is a big cut, Ian. That's yeah. it. It's over. Yeah, it's over. It is a massive cut. I'm sure when he looks back at that, when he looks at that, he's going to see how bad that is. And it's, to yeah. be honest, you can't let a fight continue like that. That is really bad. Yeah, that's good refereeing. It's a very good decision. There's absolutely no way, no fighter wants to end a fight like that. But I do feel Martin Safari was pulling away in that fight. He was landing the, the more significant strikes. Mikhail Meske looking tired, looking demoralized. And that was before that spinning elbow. The spinning elbow, I think. We just see, so I've stopped talking there just so we can have a look here at the cut there. But I do think. was a good stoppage there from the referee and what a win here for Martin Safari the man came over from Iran he's been fired up we've seen him in the hotel we've seen him at the weigh-ins yesterday fired up really wanting to get another finish huge disappointment here for the local fan favorite but Again, he was well and truly beaten, I believe, there by the better fighter on the night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after 1 minute 21 seconds of the second round, we have a winner due to Dr. Stoppage technical knockout, Martin Zafari! <laughs> Dr. Stoppage there, the referee. Stop the contest. Ask the doctor to come in and check that cut. It is a very bad cut. I'm sure when Mikhail Meski looks in the mirror and sees that, I'm sure he'll be reassured that that was the right decision. That was a fantastic win. A very impressive performance there from Martin Safari. And here we see that first takedown there. There was attacks for heel hooks throughout. Mikhail Meski attacking from underneath, nice wrestling to the back, good ground and pound. Here we see the strikes again, that second heel hook victory, looked to have the bite on the heel. Safari with the flying knees, let's see if we'll see that spinning elbow. There we go, right on the eyebrow. Ladies and 